The key to retail sales items is that we have two separate databases that we are maintaining. Club Inventory is the database of inventory items that will track the cost and selling price, quantity received and on hand, and sales margins. Point of Sale is the database of sales items that will be sold from the POS and are directly linked to a corresponding item in the inventory database. To create a retail sales item, within the Setup SKU Numbers program, select your club and the appropriate area. Then select Add a new SKU number. Let's take a look at an existing SKU for example. Enter a SKU number with a max of 16 characters, which can include numbers and letters, but no special characters. It might be helpful to look at your current coding system if you are not sure what code to use for this SKU. Then enter a description. For the UPC slash EAN code field, if you are not using a scanner or barcodes for selling products, you can skip this field. If you are using barcodes and printing barcode labels, Jonas will generally auto-generate the barcode slash UPC for you. If your system is configured to allow it, you can override the auto-generated code and enter the manufactured barcode. Select the inventory category, which determines the GL linkages for tracking cost of sales. The minimum quantity field can be used to trigger the system to place this retail sales item on a reorder report even though it hasn't reached zero. For example, if you preset the minimum quantity to 10 and the quantity on hand drops below 10, the retail sales item will start appearing on the suggested reorder report. Enter the cost price, which is the price it costs you to purchase this item from the supplier. Enter the selling price, which is the price you will be selling the item for. This price should be before taxes and service charges. If you offer member reduced pricing, use the retail field to enter the price for non-members and the member field for the member's price. The system will trigger which selling price to pull based on whether or not the point of sale ticket is open to a member account or not. If you do not offer member reduced pricing, enter the same price in both these fields. Enter a POS item code, which is the sales item code for the POS item. Or use the lookup tool to pull up your current list of sales items. The POS item code can be six characters with letters, numbers, or both, and no special characters. You can use the same code as the SKU number, if applicable. Upon clicking enter, the point of sale sales item setup screen will appear. If you do not receive this screen, you can click the edit button from the main screen to launch it. Many of these fields will pre-populate for you. However, you will want to confirm the description, which will appear on sales reports for POFs, the chit description, which will appear on the chit, button descriptions number one and two, which will appear on the button in POS, and the sales category, which will determine any taxes and service charges and the GL for the revenue. Allow credit book. Enable this option if a member can use their credit book balance to purchase this item. Click OK to save. Lastly, you can use the package BOM, which stands for Bill of Materials, to connect SKUs, such as your golf ball sleeve SKUs, to your golf ball dozen SKUs. By doing this, you can receive your golf balls by the dozen and sell them by the sleeve. This can be done for other items as well, such as wine glasses and bottles. If you do not want to use this option, you would have to receive and sell everything by sleeve. Simply select the applicable SKU number and specify the quantity. Click OK to save. You can optionally adjust any of the other fields that are applicable for this SKU. Then click OK to save. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.